Grant. Now, one man who loves digging a hole in the wall is DIY expert Wayne Perry. Actually, you do, but you know how to fix the problem. That's the main thing. You know those really annoying, sort of slightly larger holes that we sometimes have when we're trying to do our DIY? How do we fix those? Well, like you say, it's about getting out of the trouble. So if you've got something like a toilet roll holder that's fallen out because the holes become too big, just use matchsticks oh. or cocktail sticks. So pad it all around, put, um, you know, put matchsticks all the way around, and what you want to do is make that plug as tight as possible so when you come to screw it in, the screw's got something to bind to. Yeah. And then you can reattach that toilet roll. Ah. Otherwise, you just constantly feed. <laughs> it's dropping all the way through. Maybe get a bigger plug then as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Who knew? Well, you know, we had our very own Will Kirk here. He gave us some tips for hanging pictures. Mm -hmm. But, Wayne, a third of us are still struggling to put them up. Mm -hmm. What are your tips? Well, who am I to tell you how to hang your pictures? And you're where Wayne Perry. I you know. Tell us everything. <laughs> I try and tell you as much as I know. But I think if you know the rules for picture hanging, then you can make an informed decision and break the rules if you want. So the big rule that all the galleries use is the five foot rule. And they've worked out the average eye level of the population is five feet. So if you hang all your artwork in your lounge, for example, at five feet all around the room, you walk into the room, you see the horizon line and you get to enjoy mm. the artwork. If you're in a dining room, which is a seated room, you're a little bit lower, so drop it a couple of inches. Ah. So already we're breaking the rules, but we've made an informed decision as to why we're doing it. Okay. One of the big mistakes I see a lot of is when people put artwork above your sofa. So sofa or your bed. People tend to put their artwork too high. And what that does is, as you're looking at the artwork and you're looking at the sofa, you just look at the gap in between the two. Your eye is drawn to the bit that you don't want to see. Yeah. So we use the rule of thumb or the rule of palm. So put your thumb on the top of your sofa and your little finger underneath the artwork and then that's the minimum, that's the minimum you should have. So that the maximum you should have, sorry, so that you can see the whole thing as a whole, like the artwork and the sofa. It makes sense. It looks aesthetically pleasing. It looks lovely. As it is, doesn't it? What about actually putting the pictures up then? I mean, the first thing most people go and grab is a spirit level. They do, a spirit level. We know how this works. There's a bubble in the middle. If the bubble's in the middle, it means it's perfectly level. But if you don't have a spirit level, and a lot of people at home don't, you can use an app. Use your smartphone, on here. even your mobile phone. You can download a spirit level app, and you can use that on there. And I've used that when I've been um, working on jobs. My next big top tip is sometimes just ignore the spirit level. Oh. Ignore the app, ignore the spirit level. Because if you're putting a picture up on a wall, say, above your mantelpiece, you're putting this gorgeous picture up, you've used your spirit level on the mantelpiece, the picture looks beautiful, but the mantelpiece is slightly <laughs> off. Yeah. Because it's a Victorian property and over time things move, your subconscious brain will look at it and always believe the mantelpiece, not your picture. Yeah. Mm. So go, go off okay. the mantelpiece, go off the surroundings rather than the spirit level. Yeah, I know all about wonky walls. It <laughs> your head in, doesn't it, when you know, you know it's a bit and off. And you can see it, you're sitting looking at the the wall going, that looks wrong. So go with the fixtures of the house okay. rather than the spirit level. What about those beautiful gallery walls? I love them, but where do you start? Gallery walls are the one thing that scare people the most. So I'm going to give you some top tips. So the main thing is use the five foot rule. Start with the hero picture. Start with your biggest picture, the one that you want to celebrate the most. Hang that at five feet and then work okay. your way out smaller. So start with the big one and get the smaller pictures as they get to the end. And what happens is your brain has found that pattern, enjoys the relaxes, subconscious brain, and then you enjoy the art. Another one you can do is you could use the outside edge. So just create an imaginary outside edge with all your gallery pictures and then the brain enjoys it's found that pattern but also you could add to that picture frames mm. so make sure the picture frames are the similar color or even the artwork inside is a similar palette mm. or then there's the, the um, 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 horizon line you right. can have this center line which is at five feet and you can work off that and what about the space in between them <laughs> well, that, that's that, where you get it wrong that, well that's where you, but then you say getting it wrong but that's why I like this whole outside edge because it doesn't matter what the spaces are like because the brain doesn't notice the centimeters or millimeters it notices the outside edge and yeah. the subconscious brain relaxes and you enjoy it well, I think I think okay. I like that last picture this central line, nice and tidy. Yeah. Family, isn't it? Everyone's, it's in the eye of the beholder, isn't it? Exactly. Um, Wayne, a lot of my friends tell me a lot of the time that they like to put pictures up just by using a nail because they can't be bothered with a lot of different, you know, tools. That's my friend's tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so what if you just want to use a, a nail just to put a picture up? So if you're not very good with a drill and you want to put some artwork on the wall, 
there's a little bit of an industry top tip that we use for like show homes because you don't want them to be knocked i can't bear pictures that aren't straight i'm a compulsive picture straightener so uh, this is a top tip to make sure it works what you need is lightweight um, weight art so you can't put a mirror up or something like that so this has got glass in it but it's not too heavy um it has to be a plasterboard wall so a stud wall if you knock it with your knuckles and it sounds hollow it's a stud partition wall and generally it's plasterboard so i've already done one already what you need to do is put a nail in the back of your wooden frame about an inch from the top I'm going to hammer this one in and then with some pliers you just need to snip off the head of the nail but do it at an angle and as you're doing that I'm going to do it on here snap it off there you've created a spike on the end of oh, it yes. offer this up <gasps> to your plasterboard wall hold it make sure it's straight because you've only got one chance to do it and then with a firm push push it into uh, the wall and it'll stain. Oh, I can't believe that. That is good. It's and, a good one. And not too much mess after no, if you want to... if you're in rented with... accommodation, it's perfect because you can oh. actually just pull it off and you're left with two little pin <gasps> Are you one of those people that goes to other people's houses and goes up to the pictures and goes, ooh, as you walk in... <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. done it in restaurants. Yeah. I can't <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's brilliant. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Thanks, Thank Wayne. Wayne. Brilliant. Now,